So what we have here is a table showing the number of people who took various times to eat their meal in a restaurant. That changed into the percentage, the information presented as a chart, and also we have calculated the mean, the median, and the mode. We're going to move on now and look at a slightly more complex calculation. We're going to look at a calculation called the standard deviation. And the standard deviation is a measure of spread of the data. There are calculated formulas for working it out, but for now we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to use the computer to do the calculation for us and then look at an application of this calculation, how it can be useful to us. So to calculate the standard deviation, we simply go to formulas, more functions, statistical, and find the formula for standard deviation. Now we've got a choice of a standard deviation of the population, if we if our data is showing everyone, or of the sample if we've used a sample in our research. And um, this is a sample of data that we have, so we're going to use a standard deviation. We're going to select the data and the data is the original information we started with so let's look at the original set of data click on the arrow and OK and it tells us that the standard deviation a measure of spread is 20 just tidy that up put it in a box So what does this standard deviation calculation do? To understand standard deviation, we also need to understand a little bit about distributions. The way the data looks. If we look at the actual data that we've gathered here, you can see that it's pretty much a bell-shaped pattern starts low, gradually gets higher, and then gets lower. And if I use this picture of a bell over the top, you should see that it's almost exactly the same shape as the columns in our data. So we would call this a bell-shaped curve, or we would call it a normal distribution. Normal because it's like most of the things we come across in everyday life. If we look at heights, there are very few short people and very few really tall people. Most people are somewhere in the middle. So this pattern of data where it goes from lower either side up to high in the middle represents all sorts of things like height, like intelligence and many many other categories of information. There is actually a calculation to check to see if data is normally distributed but again we're not going to worry about that right now. We're just going to try and understand some of the features of a normal distribution and to do that I'm just going to change the colour of these bars and I'm going to fill them in a solid red and close it. The reason I've changed the colour is so that it will show up more on the examples of information that I'm going to look at in a moment. So there we have our normal distribution of the time it takes for customers to eat their meal. So look at the same chart but with an overlay on. With this overlay, you can see that the bell-shaped curve in blue is not perfectly identical to the bars, but very, very close. So that's more confirmation that we have a normal distribution. 
don't worry about the symbols at the bottom of the screen, I'll explain those in a moment. One of the features of a normal distribution is that the mean and the median are both identical. If we look at this chart, we'll also notice the outlier sticking out at the edge. So there we have a view showing the normal distribution of our data. Now to explain standard deviation, I'm going to take away the data and look just at that basic distribution shape. So this diagram represents our data. The symbols at the bottom of the data represent two terms that we've already calculated. This mu symbol represents the mean and then each of these represents the mean minus one standard deviation or minus two standard deviations or minus three standard deviations. On the other side it's mu plus one standard deviation plus two standard deviations and plus three standard deviations. So if we look at mu or the mean, that pointing line that goes right to the top of the uh, chart, then we can see part of that area is covered in dark blue and it says 34.1% either side of that line. Mathematically standard deviation is a way of calculating how many people or results fit within certain ranges. So this means that 68% of the people that are eating in the restaurant took the time, the average or the mean, take away one standard deviation up to the mean plus one standard deviation. Let's look at that again. symbols stand for the mean which is 70 minutes so I'm going to replace that okay so that line in the middle is 70 minutes. That was the mean time it took to eat the food. This figure here represents the mean minus one standard deviation. So the mean is 70. Take away the standard deviation which is 20. So that value there is actually 50 minutes because that's the mean minus one standard deviation. This figure here is the mean plus one standard deviation which is 70 plus 20 and 70 plus 20 is 90 so here we have 90 minutes so what this chart is telling us is that between 50 minutes and 90 minutes, there were 68% of the customers. So 68% of the customers will take between 50 and 90 minutes. 
and that provides the restaurant with a guide as to how long most people will take to eat their meal. However, if the restaurant wants to be even more confident that it covers more, a bigger percentage of their customers, we could look at mean minus two standard deviations. So that would be the mean, 70, take away two lots of standard deviation. So that's 70 minus 20 minus 20, which is 30. Just make a note of that here. So this is 30 minutes. And the mean plus two standard deviations is going to be 70, the mean, plus 20, plus 20 which is 110. So let's insert that. So we can now confidently tell the owner of the restaurant that between 30 minutes and 110 minutes represents 95% of his customers. In other words, 95% of the people who eat in the restaurant take somewhere between 30 minutes and 110 minutes. If we do the same and move on to minus three standard deviations, plus three standard deviations, that range will tell us what 99% of the population will be eating in between. So we can calculate three standard deviations below the average, 70 minus 20, minus 20, minus 20. That becomes 10 minutes and 70 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 becomes 130 minutes. So 99% of the customers will take between 10 minutes and 130 minutes to eat their meal. And this can give the owner of the cafe a much better idea of how long he should leave between bookings and how long he can expect his customers to stay in his restaurant. So in summary, the standard deviation is a way to work out what range of data covers 68% of the population or 68% of the customers. That's using one standard deviation either side of the mean. Or 95% of the customers either side of the mean with two standard deviations. Or 99% of the population and that's the mean plus or minus three standard deviations. So the normal distribution enables us to use the standard deviation to calculate ranges of data.